All right, now all the data in the world isn't really worth a whole lot if you can't do something with it. So that's where the Conduct Tools comes in. Now, I've created a special drawing set. It's under our Conduct Labs and uh, it's Conduct Labs underscore placemaker. It ships with Conduct. So if you have Conduct, you already have this drawing set. You can already do this trick. And if you want to get a trial of Conduct, you have a seven day free trial at ConductTools.com and you can get this drawing set and run through this exact same demo. So the, the Conduct Placemaker drawing set is going to automate the scene creation needed to create our figure ground diagram and our high resolution aerial imagery. It's gonna happen in just a few clicks, watch close. All right, so now we need to load our Conduct Placemaker drawing set. To do that, you just click on this folder icon up here. Now this is gonna open up our Kondok drawing sets. This is where we choose what trick we want Kondok to do. Now, typically you're using either Kondok Lite or Kondok Architect, but we also have these different labs here that do some really cool stuff. So for instance, Placemaker. I'm gonna choose that drawing set and click open. Now, that reprograms Kondok to do a different trick. So when I click on the plan generator, you can see that now we're offered up a figure ground diagram and an aerial map. All I have to do is click on set up project and watch this, watch what happens. All right, that's it. So Kondok has created the scenes. We have our figure ground diagram scenes. So we have uh, figure ground 01 buildings and you can see that it's just taking the placemaker layers and assigning a different hatch to it. We have our roads, we have our paths, and we have our water. And then also we have our aerial imagery. All right, then I'm gonna open up the Kondok system and I can always click on the design button to get back to kind of a lightweight, snappy SketchUp environment. There we go. So now this is the entire model and we need to click the Kondok export. This is going to compile all of our scenes into scaled drawings. Now, you can see that we have all these different scales that we're pulling from layout. I'm gonna use one inch equals a thousand feet. So we'll go with one inch equals a thousand feet for both of these, click send to layout, and we're gonna save the model. And I'm gonna save this to my desktop temp, and I'm gonna call this one uh, Kent, Ohio, like that. Okay, so now I just need to hop over to layout. I can start a new presentation, and if I go to my templates, you can see that we have seven professional title blocks that are installed with Kondok. So I'm gonna choose a presentation 11 by 17 title block. And check this out. We have our scrapbooks inspector over here at the right. If I click on the dropdown, you can always find your Kondok exports under Kondok drawings. Now, here's our figure ground diagram. Click and drag and drop it right in there and we're good to go, just like that. All right, and then I can kind of stretch this around and, and you know crop this. And actually, I'm gonna hold off on that. We're gonna to go to the next one and we're gonna drop in our aerial map like that. All right, and then I'm going to align both of these guys. I'll right click, align left, right click, align top. And then I'm just gonna kind of stretch the bounding boxes in so that they're cropped exactly the same, like this. All right, then I can render the models on page and then we can just stretch them out like this and we have our figure ground diagram and our aerial map. If you like this video, click the BD button to subscribe to our channel. Every week we post new videos covering SketchUp, Layout, Lumion, and our Conduct Tools extension. If you are a professional architect or interior designer, you're going to love our tutorials.